Greetings citizens of the world. It's well known that some of the most common genetically modified foods are toxic, can be very bad for your health, and in the long term, consumption of these GMO foods will surely kill millions of us. But in this video, I don't want to talk about their toxicity, which should already be something very worrying, but about something even more preoccupying, which is how the GMO seeds are being used by the elites to impoverish the farmers of the third world, confiscate their lands, and depopulate part of the earth. GMO seeds are the biggest scam ever, after the private central banks. And in this video we will see the reasons why. I think the real concern is that there is an increasing corporate control of the seed chain. And increasingly that means that a very small number of people are having a massive influence over the way in which farmers are able to farm. Traditional practices of saving seed are now under threat. And what that does essentially is to put corporate profit ahead of the ability of farmers to feed themselves and their communities. <laughs> Biggest problem with the GMO seeds is that the variety of plant which has been genetically modified becomes automatically the property of the corporation. So therefore, if the farmers want to cultivate that type of plant, they have to pay royalties to the company. Even if the farmers grow natural seeds, since that species of plant, it's a property of the corporation, isn't it outrageous, that a farmer have to pay to a corporation, for a plant created for our mother earth? If farmers have, have always had to buy seed then. No, that um, is the whole issue. Seed has always been a renewable resource in farmers' hands, particularly in the hands of women farmers. They were the breeders, they were the conservers, they were the custodians of seed. We see a new property right being introduced in the seed sector, beginning with the World Trade Organization. Okay, now the... Besides, that also means that the farmers cannot even replant the seeds of their previous harvest for free since the seeds come from plants that have intellectual rights. So therefore, the peasants are forced to pay royalties every single season. But it gets even more absurd than that. Because if it happens that your neighbor cultivates GMO seeds, and your crops have been cross-pollinated by the pollen of your neighbor plants, in the next season you will also have to pay royalties, since the seeds contain genes that came from a plant with intellectual rights. Isn't that absolutely ridiculous? I started Navdanya, the movement for seed saving, when I realized that corporations wanted to patent seed, which was wrong in and of itself because patents are granted for inventions, the seed is not invented. But the only reason you take a patent is to collect royalties. Royalties mean costlier seeds. Royalties mean seed that is renewable by very, its very nature is now made non-renewable. And we see the consequences of this in India, where since the big companies came in and took over the seed supply, especially in cotton, we have had 270,000 farmer suicides. But wait, because it gets even more outrageous. Although the law doesn't allow it, it's well known that the corporations genetically engineer some of their seeds to make them sterile and unusable for replanting, resulting in farmers having to buy new seeds from a central supplier each year. Since the previous harvest that contained many sterile plants didn't produce enough seeds for the next season, Shouldn't this be a crime against humanity? So that farmers will not be able to save those seeds, and they want to genetically engineer those seeds, and they want to put something called terminator technology in those seeds. And this has those seeds create suicide after one growing season, so that farmers cannot save those seeds. So what Monsanto's really after is controlling all the seeds of the earth, and making sure that the farmers of the earth cannot save those seeds. This becomes extremely important when you realize that 80% of all the farmers of the world depend on seed saving for their survival. So if Monsanto is able either through patenting 
or through this Terminator technology to destroy their ability to save seeds, the result will be mass starvation. But hold on, there are still more troubles to mention, and one is that some of these seeds have been genetically engineered to grow well with certain chemical inputs, so therefore, the farmers are forced to buy these chemical substances when they purchase the seeds, which increases even more their production costs. The genetically modified seeds contained a single novel trait. They'd been engineered specifically to resist the toxic effects of the chemical herbicide Roundup, Monsanto's number one selling herbicide since the 1980s. To put in a gene for herbicide resistance, you now have a monopoly on the chemical as well, on this, as, well as on the seed that is married to the chemical. And on top of that, the corporations who produce these GMO seeds, like Bayer, who have recently bought Monsanto, have the right to sue the farmers and force them to pay expensive fines if they store seeds or have their fields accidentally contaminated or cross-pollinated by other GMO plants. Farmers all over the world are being sued and caught in traps of debt. They have threatened thousands of American farmers with lawsuits for violating their patents. That over 129 lawsuits have been filed by Monsanto against American farmers and they have reaped millions of dollars. And this is Monsanto coming in with its huge legal team, all of its power coming after a small farmer in South Dakota or Nebraska or in Indiana trespassing on their land, making up, in many cases, making up uh, uh, you know, lies about what these farmers were doing and not doing, persecuting them, and often driving them out of business. So as we have seen, the main goal of this GMO seeds is not to help the poor or to increase food production, as we are being told by the propaganda machine of these evil corporations. But the real goal of those seeds is to be used as an economical weapon to catch in a trap of debt the farmers of the third world countries in order to confiscate their property and lands and impoverish the people of the third world to such an extent that most of them will inevitably die. As John Adams said in 1826, there are two ways to conquer and enslave a nation. One is by the sword, the other is by debt. And GMO dear sisters and brothers, it's the ultimate tool to discreetly drive out of business the farmers of the world, and steal their land. For example, in India, since the genetically modified crops were introduced, hundreds of thousands of farmers have already committed suicide, since the cost of the GMO seeds and royalties, increased the costs of farming astronomically, and forced the farmers to borrow larger loans to money lenders, with exorbitant interest rates, which cause economical distress and bankruptcy to the producers leading them to commit suicide, or to sell their lands to pay out their debts. Whether they're Indian farmers or American farmers, there's a whole system in place. They have to take out loans. The people who give out the loans believe that these seeds will give the greatest yields. So they're not going to get loans if they don't go with the GMOs, and many of them felt coerced to take the GM seeds. The GM crops have not done as well in all regions of India. Some of the farmers have become indebted, much greater indebtedness with the GM crops that did not perform as well. And unfortunately, in the culture of India, when the farmers get to very high indebtedness, they have been known to take their lives. GMO seeds are being used as a tool to enslave entire nations of poor people institutions that are officially meant to help the poor like the world bank the international monetary fund or the world food bank are using this gmo seeds as a trojan horse since they are giving away the seeds to poor countries so that after the first planting seasons the biotech agribusiness conglomerates will capture the seed chain supply and then they will own the entire food security of these countries. So, as we have seen dear sisters and brothers, the GMO seeds are an instrument of the evil elites, to enslave all of us. <laughs> and
As Henry Kissinger said once, who controls the food supply controls the people, who controls the energy, controls the nations, and who controls the money, controls the world. I hope this video have helped the viewer to understand why GMO seeds are evil, and why we should boycott the corporations that are producing them. We cannot allow the wicked elites to carry out their evil plans. So please, wake up. We let's all unite, and let's all fight. Greetings world. We are anonymous.